here with Concordia head track and field coach Matt Beisel at the conclusion of the outdoor national championships and uh, you get a third place finish for the women uh, just like what they did for indoors so quite a a year for for them um, but what are your your thoughts right now as you close uh, these three days out here in Gulf Shores I'm just grateful to God I mean I've just been praying non-stop all afternoon and and just still got it going through my head talking to the man above I you know we have such a great group of coaches and kids I couldn't ask for anything more I'm super proud of all of them I know all of our staff are we uh, gave it our best and ended up getting a third place trophy and I, I don't know when the last time we got outdoor third place but to have two third places in one year is outstanding. It's a big deal to finish top four in the nation when there's what, 130, 140 schools competing. Um, and it, it is the significance of that's not lost on me. So very proud of our kids, our guys, um, you know, and I don't know what their final team scoring was. We ended up scoring 10 points with Jacob Cornelio winning the hammer and very proud of the effort of our guys, every single one of them, whether it was throwing or whether it was jumping or whether it was running, they gave it their all and I, I couldn't be more proud. Super, super sad and super glad um, for our seniors. We have a lot of seniors moving on and it was such a great, a great experience to have them as a part of our team for all these years and I gotta give a shout out to them. Huge uh, kudos to our coaching staff, Mark Samuels, Ed McLaughlin, Ben Hinkfoot, Curtis Bonner, Hans Eichmeier, and um, you know, just keeping it legit, those guys. And then Kylie Haynes, our athletic trainer, keeps everybody functioning and, and couldn't do it without her. And so I'm just I'm just very grateful. Um, we're gonna go take some pictures here of the 4x4s getting their awards and then we'll have the team trophy. So looking forward to uh, now taking a little bit of a break and then beginning to focus on next year. Hey, what do you feel like is kind of the lasting memory of, of this outdoor season? And of course everybody enjoys coming here to, to end things up too. That's really hard. I, I have so many things that are in the front of my mind. I, I couldn't, I can't put it into one thing. 